What's up, YouTube? It's Friday, and before I start the weekend, uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, something that I do uh, whenever I have some free time. But yeah, uh, what I like to do here is to build a car that that I would build it for myself, and uh, and see if you guys like it or not. Um, and if you would uh, build it some other way for any other reason or you want to see me build uh, any certain cars that that you are interested in uh, let me know uh, leave a comment uh, but I'll try to uh, explain myself why I choose certain options and the way I would do it maybe hopefully to convince you so uh, uh, I've been thinking which car to do first and uh, I think this would be the one of the cars that I personally would love to own uh, well so I, I Here's the, the Mercedes website. So anyway, let's get to the car that I, I like to build here today. We'll go to the build. And we'll scroll down here. Boring, boring, boring cars. Isn't it funny they have all these just in black color, which most people would probably order them as black or white, right? Uh, well, here's the AMG GT. Let's see here. So we have three choices. It's regular GT, GTS, or GTR. The R is out of question. I would never be able to afford that. And I actually, I think that's a limited run production. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's out of my league. Question is GTS or regular GT? Now, unless you order a regular GT, the dealerships usually bring out only S here in America. But you can still order a GT. I'm not sure why not a lot of people will go for this. As far as I'm concerned, the only real difference between these two, uh, aside from uh, horsepower and torque figures, which I'll go into a little bit, uh, are the, the GTS has an electronic limited slip differential. GT has regular mechanical differential. And uh, GTS gets the race mode, uh, meaning ECU has more aggressive tuning on the dampers and engine response and, and all of that. Uh, GT does not get that. And here's my thought. GTS is about, let me see here, about $20,000 more. It starts off $20,000 more. It starts off $143,000. Regular GT starts off at, let's see here, 113,000. So that's about $30,000 difference. Now, both of those share exact same engine components, meaning the engines are exact that copy of each other. Only reason why the S gets more power is just ECU mapping. And uh, from looking at some of the options, uh, the outside tuning options, if you go to like Rentec or you know one of those uh, well-known uh, Mercedes high-performance tuners, you can easily purchase their tunes under $2,500 and you know you can make sure the tune, you can request the tune to be a more conservative type of tune but even so, I mean right off the bat these tunes are giving you extra 100 horsepower, 100 foot-pounds of torque, somewhere around that neighborhood. I mean, well beyond the stock, the GTS power figures. And since both engines are exactly the same, that the delta, the gain you're gonna get from regular GT is gonna be massive compared to the S, it's gonna be even more, because they both will end up in the exact same power figure. And as far as differential goes, now that is, uh, that's going to be a topic. I'm not sure how many people who are so good at driving, you know, you can get that extra couple tenths from having an electronic limited slip. Uh, yes, it can react a lot faster than mechanical, but hey, back in the days, there were plenty of fast cars without electronic limited slip, and uh, they sure were fun cars and you know I'm sure they're, they're a great car still to date uh, so I don't have a problem uh, with uh, the mechanical limited slip here 
And as far as the suspension and the you know the the mapping goes with the race setting versus just Sport S, uh, the Sport Plus uh, settings for your car, you know I mean I'm sure uh, one of those tuners can also change the mapping on those to even more aggressive than how the regular S is mapped on the race setting. So. Yeah, I mean the four thirty thousand dollar difference. I just cannot see the benefit of the S versus just regular GT. Um, I would personally order just regular GT here. That's why I'm in this this screen. And as far as the paint, uh, I actually the paint that it comes with. That's the paint that I would choose. I'm sure the I've seen some black ones around the street. It looks very sinister. Actually, every color looks really good on this car. The white looks really good. Uh, but uh, I would I would actually, you know what, you're gonna get a supercar like this, you know, might as well make it pop. And this, you'll soon see with some of the options I'm gonna put, it, it looks just amazing. Um, so, gonna do the aerodynamics package. Uh, all right, I do like that front bumper change. Uh, you know, side skirt and that rear spoiler. This, yeah, that 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 just kind of offsets this droopy rear look. Almost, you know, mimics 911. But yeah, I, I love that spoiler. I think that's a, I think that's a great deal for 2850. That front spoiler, side skirt, and rear 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 spoiler. I mean, you try to get those in good quality aftermarket ones, you're going to be spending well over that, plus the installation fee. So, I think that will work, and obviously the night package, gotta do it on red, red and black, goes like bread and butter. And I would probably spend a little extra to get some nice black rims here, and again, $1,500 option or 1920 inch forged rims and I kind of like I, I dig the shape of them I mean the cost wise again I mean you're not going to get a good quality forged rims under thirty five four thousand uh, dollars outside so uh, and especially with these stuff you're going to have to get them in perfect offset and uh, and this is stagger size so you'll have to probably order a custom probably cost you a lot more so that's the outside. Let's go to interior. I would... Uh, red goes actually pretty well with... What do you got here? Uh, you know what, I'll probably keep it uh, just the black with the Dynamica inside. Probably keeps you from sliding around too much. Uh, yeah, the piano lacquer, that's something you don't want. That catches fingerprints like nothing else. I, I will keep the silver chrome, as much as I hate chrome, that's fine. Now, seat belts, usually I wouldn't do it, but hey, this is this, this, this $120,000, dollars car, might as well, $500, right? Make that little, little extra happiness in there every time you get in the car, you look at that. Uh, the steering. And like I stated on my other video, I don't like suede steering. Uh, I would rather have it leather. Uh, for some reason, it slides around too much. It wears poorly. I'd rather have the the, the yeah regular regular steering here. Let's keep moving. What's next? Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't need this. I don't need the high premium sound system. Next. Main track, I don't need that. Performance exhaust system, that's a must. Uh, AMG ride control, sport suspension, that's... Yeah, I would probably go for that. I, I would be tracking this car if I get it. Um, let's see what that's all about though. So it gives you electronically controlled three stage adaptive damping, uh, reduced body roll, pitch, 
So yeah, you pretty much get more range of selection. I guess if you don't choose this, you just get one standard damper without, without changeable options. Meaning if you turn into Sport Sport Plus, you're only going to be changing the throttle response and engine mapping uh, settings a bit, maybe. But anyway, yeah, I'll definitely get that. Um, let me see. And next. Service, yep. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. That's the money maker for dealerships. They try to rape you with these. Don't need, don't need. So yeah, well, I guess that's, that's it, huh? That's all there's to it, really. Not much option. $122,295. Estimated list lease, $1,500 a month, but that's probably not including how much you have to put down, $15,000 down. So in reality, 36 months divided by that. Uh, yeah, so I mean, you're looking at probably about $1,800 per month type of, type of payment. Maybe more, maybe a little more. Eh, not too bad. That's something I might be able to do at some point in my life. But man, just look at that. It's just... Yeah. Man, every time I'm, I, I do stuff like these, it kind of... In, 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 one time, in one way, it makes me feel happy at the same time it makes me feel sad because now I gotta go back to my uh, my own car which is I mean again but compared to uh, but anyway yeah nice car 122,000 so the question here is do you buy this or do you buy a regular Carrera S uh, which do outperform AMG GT uh, performance wise but I mean I'm not sure if you can beat the, the exclusivity and the look of this car I'm not sure I, I probably would go with this then Carrera S I don't know what you guys would do yeah I think that's that's really about it huh? I'll probably delete the badges too yeah yeah yep 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 so yeah, I mean that that will do it guys. Nice and short. If you guys want to see me build something else, let me know. Probably do this every Friday just for the heck of it. Maybe I'll do more than one car at a time. But anyway, you guys have a good weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next week.